Hey guys, happy Saturday. Elle here. Um, so, a couple things I'm working on. Yeah, this car is looking more and more like the GST, isn't it? Kind of funny. Um, the intercooler would not fit very well under my bumper. So, I had to do a few adjustments here. There's some kind of plastic bumper cover. And I was just fitting this bumper cover to see which one I wanted. I think I'm going to just cut mine to fit. Um, well, now you can't see it. So there's a plastic cover in front of your radiator underneath here. And in order for the inner cooler to fit, I had to sit there with the Dremel and cut about, I'd say I cut about two inches off of the thing. Um, but I got my inner cooler in there. I got a custom painted a uh, hourglass on there that I did and like I said I was just trying to fit a couple of bumpers and see how they're going to work um and put this one back on this one has a lot of damage on it um I was trying to repair it to keep it for the GST when I was keeping the car but there's so many holes in it from the license plate or whatever I don't even want to keep it um, I did some repairs over here. It was cracked, probably from them putting quick release tabs on it right here. Um, there's some spider webbing up here, but there's a bunch of holes across here. I don't like filling holes on bumper covers. I have a little damage on my own that I'm going to have to fill. But anyway, she looks kind of funny with the orange bumper, doesn't she, guys? Orange bumper cover. I'm not latching this. This hood is bent. If you latch it down, it usually takes about two people to pick it back up. I can get it, but I've got to pull the latch release about five, six times, and it'll finally release. Um, I'm going to try and buff up my headlights a little bit better today. I want to show you guys the, uh, oh, you can see it. The hourglass I put on the intercooler is pretty cool. I'm going to polish up the intercooler and everything. I look like crap today, so no comments. I'm only doing these videos just for fun. DSM chick in the house. The other DSM chick is at work. It happens, guys. She's got to go to work. So I'm at home every weekend. I only work three days a week. So, so here's this bumper. Um, I had to take my mesh out of the middle. This piece. Let me show you guys this. If I can hold the camera and do this. See where I put the little custom stripe in there. That's all got to be cut out. So that's what I'm doing right now is trying to figure out how to cut that out. I wanted to get a cutting tool first, but I do have my Dremel. My wife's Dremel. The Dremel's good. So I'm going to try. I don't think this is going to be real hard to cut. Just this here. Because if you look at this bumper, that whole top piece was cut out of it for the intercooler to fit. It has to be kind of adjusted a little bit. Um surprises me they didn't make a GST bumper that fits the intercooler. Um, somebody might research that. I'm kind of curious about that myself, but I don't know for sure. So, so what I was going to do, guys, if I can set this camera in here, oh, is take, if it doesn't fall over, I'm not having a good time. I need to get a camera and a tripod. And then I could do some better videos here. I just, uh, I don't have the money just yet for all that stuff. I'm working on it. Does everybody like my Eclipse poster on the wall? I got that from eBay. I was pretty excited to finally see them get that back in stock. If that falls over, I'm going to be so upset. Okay. So anyway, like I was saying, I had to take my mesh out of here. I had mesh in here. I painted it all red. Yeah, the automatic looked all pretty. Got the fog lights in here and everything. Um, but this piece here is going to be in the, in the way of my inner cooler. So I started cutting it here with the Dremel. So what we're going to do is try to cut that out. I've got a little damage right here. Um, I've got some holes here from the license plate. So I'm going to fill that um, like I did on the other bumper. This one, I think, is in better shape than the other one. The other one has a lot of damage on it that I don't care to mess with. Mine is in very good shape. 
Still needs wet, sanded, and painted, of course, with the rest of the car. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to cut this out. And then I'm going to try to fit it on the spider with the intercooler under it. I'm just fitting things right now. We don't have the engine in here yet or anything yet, guys. Be patient with that. The engine swap is going to take a minute. I need the wife to have more time to help me. And that's a big challenge in itself. So... When she has time, we'll get the wiring harness pulled, get the rest of the stuff for the engine unhooked, the rest of the fluid's drained. I think we need to drain the brake fluid. Uh, we've also got to pull the spindles off the rear of this so that we can make mine rear disc brakes. Um, talking to a lot of different people, they say rear disc brakes are better with a turbo and a five-speed than drum brakes. So I want to get rid of my drums. I want the disc brakes. Um, the brakes on the back of the GST the brake pads look okay. Um, I'm going to, uh, what do you call it, uh, power sand. What's it called, guys? I forgot. I got a power sander. I'm going to uh, sand the caliper brackets and redo them all beautiful and pretty on it. And I've got a few different plans. Start measuring out the custom parts for the bumper flare I want to do to look kind of like the Blitz. I'm going to have my own twist to the blitz bumper but it will look like the blitz similar and then start cutting out on my fender the parts that i need to do that with but thank you guys for your support and thanks for bearing with me with um my camera problem it's my cell phone and it's a selfie stick <laughs> so hey us poor chicks we do what we got to do as us poor builders you know remember this has been built not bought peace out guys till next time Bam.